Hello, it's Ms. Hanner again, and today we're going to talk about intonation, focusing on question marks, and that's in your McGraw-Hill Wonders curriculum, and, and we're in Unit 3, Week 1. You're going to need paper and a pencil and your wonderful voice. So what are question marks? The question mark is a punctuation mark that is used at the end of a sentence when asking a question. This is what a question mark looks like. So like we said, it's a kind of punctuation and it's called a question mark. I think it's my favorite punctuation. So sentences with question marks at the end will begin with who, what, where, when, and why. Let's say that again. Who, say with me, what, where, when, and why. You want to write those down and pause the video? In your, in your, maybe your reading journal would be great. So now that we know what a question mark is and where it goes and what's at the beginning of our sentences, let's practice this sentence. So I will read it and I would like you to repeat me. This sentence says, what time is it? Also, when you think about it, when you have a question mark, your voice does what? Right, it goes up at the end. That's how you can really listen to know that you are asking a question or someone's asking you a question. So let's me read it. I'll read it again. And then I would like you to repeat it. Make sure your voice goes up at the end. What time? What time is it? Your turn. Good job. Here's another sentence. Let's practice this sentence. I will read it and I would like you to repeat me. Remember, your voice should go up at the end. What is your name? Good job. Here's another sentence to practice again. I will read it and I would like you to repeat me. Where are you going? You have a, gives you a little excitement in your voice. I'm gonna say it one more time. Where are you going? Your turn. Very good. Now that you know all about question marks, I want you to write three sentences that ask a question. After you write those, make sure your voice goes up. Make sure you have who, what, where, when, and why at the beginning of your question should be something. And make sure your voice goes up. 